Okay, this is the second recording of a video because the first recording I did uh, had a swear word every other second. And some people didn't like it. Which I told them to get over, but they just... Okay, the, the way this game is going right now, I use I it's it really takes a lot for me to get mad and be and not be optimistic. And I know there are a hundred other rant videos out there about what's going on right now. Okay? Mine's gonna be a little different because I'm going directly after CG. Yep, call me out. I am a capitalist. A huge capitalist. I believe you have the right to make money legally any way that you can. But you gotta understand how to be able to continue to make money. I have a feeling they are purposely destroying this game by bringing out content that only Krakens and Whales will spend for right now, and in six months, they'll shut down the game and go ha 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 to those of you that actually spent money. The problem is, is CG lives in Silicon Valley and their ivory towers disconnected from the rest of society. And what really got me going is the other day when they said that, hold on, I have to figure out where I'm at here. Uh, important note, we mentioned in update notes on Galactic Legends that the requirements will vary and that not all characters will require relics. After doing an internal review, we have decided to change the overall requirements so that all characters will require relics. None of the announced character requirements are changing. That is the damn dumbest thing I have ever heard in my entire life. I'm, I'm, I can't even click straight on OBS here. Okay? New content is what, the, is what the community wants. New content is not throwing a, marquee, a new character into the game, into Marquee and say, hey, here, spend $350 to get this character to seven stars. And by the way, you're going to need him to get the most powerful character in the game in two months. And by the way, once you get both of those new powerful characters, on May 4th, we're going to release Grandmaster Skywalker, which is going to require both of these characters. And you're going to have to spend a total of about five grand to get him. Do you know what it would take right now for me to be able to get... Uh, Kylo Ren and Ray let I'm just gonna try to get one of them when this first came out I was on your side. I was optimistic. I supported you I said I like the idea of making it only uh, or making it where you can get the character anytime you want where it's not going to be set up uh, It's not gonna have set times like Malik and stuff like that. I like that idea Then you have the idea of you know what? Let's not let's not make every character require relics Good idea. Some some people are going to be able to accomplish that. Let alone knowing that people to get a character from gear 12 to gear 13 costs about $300. To get a character from gear 13 to relic 7 will cost you about $200. So, here's the prerequisites on Galactic Legends Ray. I worked on Finn. I worked on Resistance Trooper. I'm working on Jedi Training Ray. Oh, let's make Scavenger Ray relic 7. Resistance Pilot Relic 3 and Poe Dameron Relic 5. Not to mention that we're probably going to require you to farm the new characters that just came out, which would be Resistance Hero Finn and Resistance Hero Poe, which you're going to need to farm them to get them to 7 stars, plus put the Zetas on them. I, You are making me hate a game that I absolutely love, that I have spent hours, pro weeks, months, days, probably even a, I've probably spent a year of my life logged into the game playing. And not only that, okay, I always say resource allocation. Choose what you're going to do. The problem is, is you're spreading people out so thin that, okay, I'm farming the Vulture Droid, the Hyena Bomber, the BTL BY Wing Starfighter. Not only am I farming that, I am I have to I'm farming for the uh, Sith Trooper and General Hux. Pretty soon, Resistance Hero Finn and Poe will be farmable. On top of that, I have to farm for gear. I have to use my energy, my um, uh, Cantina energy, to continually farm for uh, signal datas and stuff like that to take them to high, uh, higher relic levels. I'm, uh, the one thing I'm blessed with is I'm in an absolutely incredible guild right now. Um, one step to insanity. We're like ranking in the world when it comes to getting stars 
in getting stuff like that in territory battles and territory wars. And thank you, Dagger, for helping us get into that guild. And they're so organized, they're so fun to play with, it's awesome. And guess what? I would really like to help the betterment of the guild by taking my Gene Ocean Spy to gear 13, to, but to be able to compete in every other aspect of the game, I can't even come close to focusing on that because I have to focus on like 10 worthless characters that will do nothing for the game. It's bullshit. I mean, it's just... Oh. Like I said, it takes a lot for me to get angry. Galactic War Report was somebody that I listened to every week. They were the only people that had, lately, that had direct contact with CG that could do interviews with them. They're done. They're quitting. Thousands of people listen to them. Cubs fan Han said, hey, maybe we should do a spending freeze. Here's the issue. He's right, but people like me who actually up here like have a mental illness that have to get the next shiny thing... The 0.5% of the population that spend ridiculous amounts of money on the game are still going to spend, and you're still going to make money. It's almost crony capitalism. I, I completely am in love with the idea that you want to make money for your business. That's what America is all about. But you're going to ruin it. Look at Walmart, um, McDonald's, all these, all these businesses that have been running for Years upon years upon years, how do they continue to run, make a successful business? Because they keep their customers happy. They keep prices reasonable. It's a brand. You, ever since CG Carry left, you have completely thrown in the towel, shut yourself off from the rest of the world. Like I said, live in your ivory towers in Silicon Valley and have no contact with reality whatsoever. You need to start hiring people that were players of the game to help you figure out how to best benefit the community. And again, new content isn't throwing a new character into the game for people to spend money on or get to three stars. We haven't had a new raid in two years. I'm able to get a thousand crystals a day about by getting first in squad arena and, and, and fleet arena. And by the way, I don't even climb half the time because I'm sick of it. Because in my mind, I'm thinking, well, I can climb, but there's no way I'm going to be get uh, uh, Scavenger Raid or Relic 7. Well, you're going to have plenty of time to get her there to eventually unlock them. Yeah, and I'll fall to 200 in Arena by the time that the people that actually get her or Kylo Ren get there. I won't be able to get 1,000 crystals a day. You'll force me to spend even more money, money that I don't have on the game to get those crystals. And then when I catch up and get Kylo Ren or Jedi Ray, you'll have Grandmaster Luke come out, which is 10 times better than even those two characters. Yeah, it's just... It's a stupid ass way of doing business. And I have been on your side for so long. And like I said, I know there are other rant videos out there. I don't know. For those of you that watch this video, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Cuz I don't I'm not trying to be mean. I don't like to be negative. Just who in the hell is going to get through to them? That we love your game so much, it has become part of our lives, and you are completely throwing it away. With things like internal reviews. How about you do an external review? Ask people from the community what they think. They'll go, yeah, you know, we'll spend this amount of money. If you have 70% of the player base spend a little bit of money, Instead of 1% of the player base spending a lot of money, you're going to make the same amount of money. You're going to get more people to come to the game. More people are going to be happy, and you're going to make more money in the long run. It's called economics. It's called capitalism. Figure it out. I don't even have time to focus on Grand Arena Championship mods anymore. I don't even have time to focus on mods. Unfortunately, I don't spend any energy refreshing my mod energy anymore or getting mod scavenger pieces to help them take them to the next level because I'm farming gear, shards, ship shards. Oh, and then... I mean, just when you said internal review, you took it to another level of stupidity. I would like to take my tri triumvirate to gear 13. I'd probably spend a few dollars to do that to help me in Grand Arena. 
But that's, that, that has to be erased from my mind because I know I'm going to have to farm General Hux, Sith Trooper, continue getting gear like I said. And the problem is, is for the us, the, the, those of us that say, hey, let's boycott to make them change things, not everybody is always going to boycott. It's the way it works. You're going after a proportion of the population that you know is going to spend no matter what. Sometimes they don't even have the money to spend, but they're still going to find a way to do it. It's crooked. I'll probably take heat for this video. Uh, before I made this video, I was like, you know what? I'm done making Galaxy of Heroes videos. I'm done playing the game. I can't afford it. I get too angry with it. I log in and I just go through the motions. Luckily, like I said, with this guild, and let's not even bring up the point that I have a full team with Relic 7 that can go into the new light side territory battle, not even finish a node with the most six dot mods, seven star, Relic 7, gear 13, all of that stuff. You can't even get four out of four in the missions. You end up three out of four. Even when you play it perfectly. What are you expecting us to do? When you, you're basically saying, I'll just wait because in the next few months, we're going to go to Relic 20 or Gear 14. Here's a shiny new pack to buy. When the basic mechanics of the game can't even be run. Oh, with the, with the Malak event where people were still getting shards, with the General Skywalker issue right now, with the glitches that are in the game that still haven't been fixed. Focus on that. The only positive thing is that I wasn't planning on making a Star Wars Galaxy Hero video ever again. Not because of views, not because of subscribers, because I am starting to hate something that I love. And Star Wars is one of my favorite things on planet Earth. And I love logging in, collecting the characters because these are Star Wars characters. But man, you guys got to get in touch with reality. And I've probably gone overboard, but I don't care. I've crossed the line. Let me know what the rest of you guys think in the comment section below. I just had to have this blow up. And there's things I didn't even say. There's things I can't remember that in my head coming in, I went, okay, um, you know what? Let's, uh, let's make sure I say this. Let's, I'm, 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 my, my brain exploded. It's gone. It's all over the place. Completely taken free-to-play players out of the game, by the way. I understand spending should be able to help you continue to get first. But people should still be able to find a way to compete, at least to get in the top 50, that have played the game for four years since release, have worked, logged in hours upon hours upon hours. They should be able to compete somewhat. And at least when the new Heroic Sith Raid came out, people had something to work on with characters that we had. It was a great time. Now we haven't had a raid forever, and your guys' idea of new content is, like I said, throwing new characters in the game. For everybody that watches this video, let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree with me, disagree with me. If you disagree with me, say so. Because like I said, I was originally on their side for saying, hey, that you get to get the characters whenever you want. But then when you think about you're going to need those two characters to get another character... It was it was bad when they made when you unlock General Skywalker at five stars and for the hoarders that got him to seven stars uh, to allow him with the guild currency and with the Radis I I can't remember if I said this during this one or not during this recording or not if that ship that people can pay for becomes better than the ships that we've worked our tails off to be able to get to five even seven stars the negotiator and the malevolence that's just crooked. Let me know what you guys think. Like the video, subscribe, may the force be with you.